Europe is out. It's been done, people. Seriously. The new front of World War II gaming is Africa in Desert Rats vs. Africa Corps. And it's nice to see the sand. Hmm. I think his tanks were better than mine. Maybe since the background is so plain, they were able to make the units and vehicles so detailed and even cast real-time shadows. Look at his little shadow. The graphics are going to be a major draw of this game. You can almost see the rivets in the tanks. It's riveting! Sorry, I don't know why I go there sometimes. I love their little shorts. Unlike most other real-time strategy games, Desert Rats vs. Africa Corps ditched the whole building and harvesting thing. Instead, you're given a certain number of mission points before each scenario. It's up to you to purchase stuff you think you'll need. Sometimes you'll get reinforcements, but usually you have to complete the mission with what you got at the start. And there are plenty of units to choose from. Both Allied and Axis troops are playable throughout the campaign, and there will be roughly 70 different units in the game by the time it ships. Since there's no resource gathering, battle tactics become incredibly important. Vehicles behave as they would in real life, meaning if you want something to turn around, it's got to back up and perform a three-point turn. It's just like in Driver's Ed. Even tanks will need to be mindful of which way they're faced, since the front has far more armor than the rear. And to complicate things further, vehicles need to be manned to move. You need to put infantry into the driver's seat and all the other important stations in order to get it to move and function properly. Your troops can also take over enemy vehicles and add them to your force. Try to salvage the heavy equipment we stumble into. While the gameplay tries to focus on realism, the storyline favors comic book heroism. Oh, look here. Perfect type of stuff, eh? Those looking for some seriously realistic real-time strategy should keep an eye out for Desert Rats vs. Africa Corps. And look for our full review soon. Might God help us to get out of this